Hello viewers and welcome to my first video on Titanfall. Uh, just for a day I've just moved from driving cars to driving big robots with big guns and this is a game I've been looking forward to for some time. So I'm on the beta here running the PC version. Obviously I have two GTX 780s which means I can run in high detail uh, across three screens 1080p and get a great frame rate as well. And it's absolutely fantastic. What a fantastic feeling and experience it gives me. We've got two views here. Uh, I contemplated doing the one view and then the other, but I thought I wanted to give you guys my at least my uh, GoPro cam view as well as the uh, over-the-shoulder view there as well. And we can see that. As I'm, this is my first ever go. So this is my first time on this map. I didn't have a clue where to go, uh, and I'm just sort of running around, getting used to the weapons. Why weren't you showing the? process of this video is just how intuitive the controls are the game isn't completely new in it's it's many different games that you feel you've played before being brought together and I'll talk about that more later in the video as I get into my Titan for the very first time wow this is cool love that love the way the screen comes up and it comes together thought it looked fantastic last year at E3 now I want to find some bad guys I'm going to mention as well the HUD I've not quite got my head around the HUD system yet there were some things in the training uh, mode there it said things should come up on your HUD and I, I haven't seen those details yet so I'll need a bit more practice but literally what you're seeing here is my three goes I've had then made the video of course went through training as well training is thorough very helpful and a lot of fun as well graphically look at them absolutely fantastic I'm looking forward to getting a butt kicker set up with this should be great when you're stomping around and you can see the overall feeling, the way it works with the screens, really working well. Amazing audio, a lot of work's gone into that, getting it just right. There's so much detail that's gone into this, you know, artistically. I love to see a game that, that, that puts that effort into it. You know, in a way, it kind of also almost reminds me a little bit of Hawken as well, that was released a while ago. I say it was released, but I, I, I always I saw the beta of it. It just seemed to always be a beta game. So I look forward to testing that more on Oculus Rift. Games like this on Oculus Rift will be absolutely fantastic. Of course, we'll continue to showcase these games on the triple screens because from a YouTube perspective, it always works well to demonstrate these. Um, so now there's an enemy Titan down there, I believe. And I thought, well, what the hell's going on? There's a little man there I'm shooting as well in distance. So this is my first time ever encountering another Titan. And I'm thinking, right, what, are, what other weapons and stuff has I got, have I got at my disposal? Um, and also, you know, which Titans are best for which situations? How do you use your rockets? Now, the rockets feel very much like some of the characters in Virtualon. Uh, there's a few sliding, you know, the dash attack as well. Again, very Virtualon. Uh, but the game that it's closest to is Gun Griffin Blaze. Gun Griffin in general, but Gun Griffin Blaze on the PS2. Japanese version ran amazingly well at the time. I imported it as soon as it was released back in 2000. Uh, and I played it for, for a long, long time. It only had five levels. Great graphics for its time, ran at 60 frames per second. Uh, and once, once I got into it, I was, uh, I was pretty unstoppable. Uh, cleared the game. And it's, it's a very similar case here, you know, I got on the Titan there, didn't quite know my controls or what to do, but you'll see in the next match, once I get the hang of the Titan, for me it's like driving a tank in Call of Duty, World at War. I would just annihilate hundreds of the enemy. And the funnier the situation was for me, the more I wiped out, uh, the more angry they would get trying to take me out as well. So, one thing I learned, that I've got to be t I was taken out by lock-ons from uh, enemy missiles. So basically, as soon as someone locks onto you, you just want to dash around a corner, that's it, the missile's going to miss you, and you'll see that improving later in the video. Also, you have the camouflage, uh, which I, I don't use at all at the moment, which I'm going to use later. Again, getting used to the lock on there. Oh, as I get killed, I could have taken him out if I had I known how to lock on better, but again, still learning. Well, I think what's good about this is that, yes, I'm a noob, this is my first ever go, but at the same time, uh, it, it all feels quite intuitive so far. I'm getting a good feel for it. I just don't know where the enemies are coming from. That's the problem at the moment. I don't know where their spawn is. I don't know the map very well. I know there's a bad guy in there. I just thought I'd put him off with a few bullets. Got someone trying to fire at me as well. I'm getting shot from the side by some scumbag. Let's give him some missiles. 
Maybe a melee. Always oh, sucking my bullets. That's another thing as well. I've got to do more bullet sucking. I forget the official terms. We all know. Bullet sucking action. Got to use a bit of that. And see how much damage it can do. So lots of techniques and tactics to learn. No doubt when you work with a team uh, who are really good in the Titans, it works really well. Moving here, cutting to later into the next game now. This is my second game. So the first game, when, when obviously when you finish the level and you're winning, uh, then the enemy team has to escape. I didn't know where they were coming from or where they were going to to shoot the enemy. So. That's still something that would require a bit more practice in knowing the maps and knowing where the enemy dropship was going to pick them up. Again here, didn't have a clue where I was going. I was just following the two guys in front of me. And then I run over here and think, oh, well, I don't want to just all run in the same building and just all get shot in the face. Where's the enemy coming from? And now I'm on my own, I'm all lonely. But look at those environments. Don't they look lovely? Especially on the triple screens as well. Lovely to see. Cutting later, so I'm running forward. I killed a few guys early on. Uh, this guy, I th think, does me. Oh, no. No, he did die in the end. Bloody hell. I was a bit nervous then. What's going on? Lag. That's my excuse. Oh, there's always going to be a bit of lag, isn't there? You got it. Stand by for Titanfall. Now I'm waiting for my Titan. This is what it's all about for me, getting into a Titan. That's all I'm going to be doing, living in a Titan, if I can. Uh, again, using the Assault Titan, uh, you know, I ch I've been checking some of the loadouts, so just testing them out, really. I think you have to test each loadout, test each Titan, and see which one works for your style of play. There's an enemy over there, so I'll throw a few bullets at him for a laugh, as I've been locked onto and I got hit. Again, that's a situation there where nowadays I would just look for a building and dash around it. You just need to become much quicker uh, evasive action when uh, players lock on to you with their missiles. It is good fun when you manage to take a whole bunch out though. So I reload. And let's see who we've got here. Enemy Titans. Fire a few bullets off into the distance. Sometimes I just fire a few bullets off because I know it damaged him. And if there's another top friendly Titan there, he can just take care of him. Uh, sometimes you've got to just play the team role rather than running in it you, there yourself and getting every kill. These guys will take a lot of... Oh, he's doing the bullet, bullet sucking, so I knew to slide out of the way. I didn't want those coming at me. I'm going around here because this guy's going to get cornered between the two of us. And that's that. Uh, whoa! Hit by another lock-on, is it? Oh no, hit by another Titan. Time to get out of there. Where's the enemy? There he is. Falling off the edge of the cliff. Got some bad guys coming out here. Here we go. Gunning them down. Gunning them down. No problem. Oh, bit of a lock on. I decided to fire some missiles at them before they got one off to me. And then that's those guys taken care of. Lovely. Big old guns. Imagine those. Bullets like milk bottles flying at you. I'm just running around this area because it's a really nice little area. I know the the bad guys are going to keep coming out. Uh, it gives me a good tactical uh, advantage over some of the enemies there just to slide around. Again, I don't know the map, so I don't know fully where all the enemy's going to come from. I knew that guy would be trying to sneak around, trying that, fire a few missiles. That's a virtual on type move there. That's all I'm doing. Because a virtual on, you would fire a stream of missiles as you dash out the way and then try and aim from another angle on your enemy. So it's nice to see that. We've got some enemy guys just on the floor there. Just him taken down as well. Taking hit from the side. I think I get the feeling that it's time to take this guy out. Got a lot of activity in the distance. I'm just taking them out. Sometimes the missiles really help taking enemies out from uh, from range. My fellow Titan is being taken out by a couple of guys there. There he is, take him out. Getting locked onto. And again, that structure there worked really well in evasive action. So Titanfall at the moment, great fun. 
Uh, obviously all the visuals, all the uh, sound, everything else, it's all coming together very nicely. It's nice to see a genre like this. This is not a new genre, in, well it is in the way it's been fused together, but it's lots of, it's lots of parts of games that many of you may not have played. Uh, you know, like Virtulon, like Gun Griffin Blaze, uh, as well as, you know, a bit of Halo and all the rest of it in there as well. So there's a lot of different things that have been brought together here, along with a great artistic style, and it's nice to see a game of this production value being put together. Uh, and this, this is obviously going to be huge for EA uh, once it comes out again. This is probably going to be their biggest thing ever. I think all the effort that's gone into Battlefield and yet here you see something which has just come together over recent times and uh, is going to possibly trump everything in the next gen. And why is that? I think it's speed of movement. I think with Battlefield sometimes, you know, when you're playing Battlefield you can have some great games if you have a team. But if you don't, uh, then obviously you might spawn at the end of the map. You've got to run through a forest for 10 minutes to get somewhere you find some enemies he shoots you in the face straight away and you're back at your spawn having to run back there again because there's no vehicles in this it's fast it's furious you're quickly back into the action halo style and it just feels great to play so on the pc version certainly it's the uh, superior version of uh, the 1080p the frame rate and the uh, ability for triple screens i'm not complaining and another victory there we have victories in all matches, of course, I'm on the team, so not that I knew anyone on the server, mind you, this is just a random server of people. You're right at the IMC landing zone, watch for incoming enemy pilots. And I'm at the landing zone now and I thought, right, this is my second go, obviously it's my second map I've ever done, so I didn't know what to do, I just sort of stood around, looked for someone, tried shooting them and they got away, so... I've not quite got my head around the whole last bit of the level. Now my third and final go. I'm, I'm using a different Titan this time. New one I've earned, which uh, I forget the name of it off the top of my head. But it, it fired missiles, uh, unguided missiles, which is fine. It was just a, more of a Titan versus Titan system, but also uh, devastating if you're close with a, a person just running around because they're dead straight away. This match isn't so exciting as some of the others. It's more in closed environment. I wouldn't mind seeing some more open environments with some of the Titans. I think it would work really well. I think, well where's the enemy coming from? Oh, they're down there. No. So th again, this is just, a, I'm running around thinking where are the enemies coming from and can I flank them in some way? Uh, whereabouts are they coming from? So. get this great feeling of me movement on the uh, I'm trying my tight anti-titan weapon no. where's he gone come on get one off so there we go nice to uh, get used to lock on first time using the lock on and there we are titan destroyed so uh, I got the hang of that and obviously the first game I didn't know quite how to lock on and use it but as soon as you've got it titans are dead so you need to really understand when you're in your Titan, uh, you know, in terms of evasive manoeuvres, getting out of trouble. You know, often you can run up to enemies, take some damage, damage them and then know when to pull back. A big part of it is strategy and knowing when to pull back. And that's a similar thing if you're a great tank driver in Battlefield or something like that, then you, you've got to know, hey, I'm getting, there's too many guys here, I'm going to back away, shoot them from range. And it's the same with Titanfall. It's going to be a case of finding a balance, which weapon has a good medium range uh, where you can hang back, where you're more lethal to them than they are to you and use the advantages uh, strategically, especially with the environments as well. So there's still loads to learn. I'm, not, I'm still not touching the surface, still not using my camo enough, uh, but I will be in future games, get my head around it. As soon as I learn these maps, just need a bit more time learning the maps. I'm back into a Titan. That's where I feel at home. You know, for me, it's good running around as a man but it's, and having all the abilities, but it's even better when I'm in a Titan. I'm thinking, oh no, this is the missiles one, not the machine gun one. So it's a little bit more tricky using this. Uh, and I was getting shot from all angles. I didn't know where they were coming from. Oh my God. Am I in the middle of it or what? I'm trying to get out of uh, danger for a moment just to recharge my shield. I couldn't see anything there, I just sort of fire in just to put them off. That was basically it. Uh, 
where are the enemy titans? They're somewhere around here. Having a look. Saw an enemy there. Oh, it's very easy to dispatch enemies with this uh, titan though. I mean, as soon as you get them within range, then, uh, as I missed the titan there, as soon as you get them within range, they're, they're, they're dead if they're running around. So, this does serious damage. Shot him in the back. That was nice. Now I'm seeking cover. Work out which one's the enemy. That's it. Another Titan down. Awesome to see large scale destruction though. And this is obviously running on the standard Team VVV test rig PC, which we use for all of our racing games. It does more than racing games, mind you. So, uh, I just thought this would make a nice change for something on the channel. And after this, we'll be straight back to racing as usual. And uh, an extended version of this video, actually uncut, will be on the Team VVV Games channel. Uh, but again, that's just the uncut games if people want to see them. Of me being a noob, basic, basically. Now, I know what my Titan is damaged, so I don't want to run in there just for the sake of it. I'm surprised that guy didn't die because I fired a couple of volleys and I thought the first one would have wounded him. He's firing through the window. All right, we got what we came for. Awesome Must have killed the other guy as well. And that comes to the end of this game now. If they get to their ship. Again, I don't know where the ship is, where they're coming from and where they're going. So uh, I just run in there, headless chicken. And uh, we see an enemy there. Ooh! Give him some. Let's give him some shots. Oh. Also, you need to know when to exit your Titan. I, I, I've still got to get used to that. So that's something that's still going to take a bit of time. I wasn't aware I should have exited the Titan at this point. There's a countdown I see now. Never saw that at the time, mind you. Um, so that's something we'll test in the future. But that's it for now on this Titanfall video. I'll leave you a few more explosions, biff bangs, and wallops, and there'll be more from me and more racing action very soon.